China may be rising in the ranks of manufacturers in terms of arms exporters. In a revelation sending shockwaves through military circles, a recent Chinese study has unearthed a startling capability, the power to utterly dismantle a U.S. tank with a single, precisely calculated hit. Besides aviation equipment, China also is displaying its latest light battle tank. The study, conducted by Chinese scientists, has probably been one of the brightest, unique, and groundbreaking studies done in the recent years in the military domain. There have been a number of shifts in uh, military uh, policy within China. First off, they've reduced, uh, over that period, to almost 600,000 troops. Today's episode will uncover a Chinese study that reveals China has power to completely demolish a U.S. tank in one hit. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. In a recent revelation from Chinese researchers, simulations involving kinetic energy weapons targeting U.S. military tanks have raised eyebrows in the realm of military technology. Imagine a scenario where a compact 20 kilo projectile hurtling at four times the speed of sound could potentially dismantle a robust U.S. tank with a single shot, leaving it seemingly unscathed on the outside but critically damaged internally. This finding challenges conventional wisdom about the resilience of advanced tanks, weighing between 40-60 tons and fortified with thick layers of armor built under stringent U.S. military standards. Now, before dismissing this as improbable, let's delve into the intriguing details unearthed by the research team led by Huang Ji from the China Aerodynamics Research and Development Center's Hypervelocity Aerodynamic Institute. Their comprehensive assessment, a blend of experiments and numerical simulations uncovered the vulnerability of the inner workings of the tank, even if the external facade appears intact. Picture this. Bolts connecting crucial equipment to the inner cabin wall could fracture upon impact, rendering the tank inoperable despite potential survival of the crew. Published in the peer-reviewed journal Equipment Environmental Engineering, this revelation serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of traditional military hardware amid the emergence of cutting-edge weapons technology. The 20-kilo projectile, equipped with approximately 25 megajoules of kinetic energy, seems minuscule when compared to the tank's colossal size. To put it in perspective, the energy carried by the projectile is equivalent to cooking just two turkeys for Christmas. Weird, isn't it? It's a classic case of David versus Goliath, with the unsuspecting projectile inflicting significant damage beyond what meets the eye. Now, as we ponder the potential implications of such high-speed kinetic projectiles, let's explore the broader landscape of weaponry. Traditional anti-tank weapons rely on gunpowder to generate thrust, propelling a hard alloy rod or metal jet to penetrate the armor upon impact. However, high-speed kinetic projectiles, with their potential for lethal damage even through grazing contact, challenge this paradigm. The diversity in launching methods, exemplified by Chinese naval scientists experimenting with electromagnetic coil guns on land-based platforms, adds a layer of complexity to the evolving narrative of modern warfare. Here's a thought-provoking question. Could electricity replace gunpowder as the driving force behind lethal weapons, altering the course of future warfare? The introduction of coil guns, though seemingly primitive, has sparked excitement among military experts who perceive it as a potential game-changer. The prospect of unleashing lethal projectiles at incredible speeds without relying on traditional explosives opens new avenues in the ever-evolving arms race. Let's circle back to the research findings from Huang's team and the intricate challenges posed by kinetic projectile testing. Unlike conventional armor-piercing rounds that can be tested using a piece of alloy armor, the complexity arises when evaluating the impact of kinetic projectiles on an entire tank. The shockwave generated by the impact traverses the entire vehicle, causing stress concentrations in critical areas like bolts, leading to potential distortion or fracture. Imagine the ripple effect, akin to throwing a pebble into a pond, but with far-reaching consequences for the tank's structural integrity. As we grapple with the implications, another pressing question emerges.
emerges, how would tank crews fare in the face of such kinetic projectile impacts? While Huang's team did not delve into this aspect, a numerical simulation study from Dalian University of Technology earlier this year paints a grim picture. If an American M1 tank were to face a 10 megajoule hypersonic kinetic projectile head-on, traveling at seven times the speed of sound, the potential injuries to the loader, gunner, and commander are chilling. Minor wounds for the loader, moderate for the gunner, and severe for the commander could incapacitate the crew, disrupting combat operations. In the worst case scenario, the driver may succumb to fatal wounds due to the intense impact. Try to imagine the vast expanse of armored battlegrounds where Chinese and American tanks, the titans of modern warfare, vie for supremacy. In this intricate battle of firepower and resilience, the shapes of design, innovation, and tactical prowess come to the surface. China, driven by its ambition to establish military dominance, has invested significantly in tank development. The Type 99, often hailed as the flagship of the People's Liberation Army's PLA Armored Forces, stands out for its cutting-edge features. Its composite armor and modular design underscore China's commitment to adaptability on the battlefield. The incorporation of advanced technologies, such as explosive reactive armor, ERA, and an active protection system, enhances survivability, making it a formidable adversary. However, skeptics argue that the PLA's emphasis on quantity over quality, with a vast fleet of older models like the Type 59 and Type 79, raises questions about the overall effectiveness of China's armored forces. Nevertheless, the Chinese tanks remain at the forefront of military might and remain unchallenged. The secrecy revolving around China's military development doesn't help us either because one moment the PLA remains quiet, and in another instant, a revelation worthy of headlines comes forth. On the American side, the M1 Abrams stands as an iconic symbol of military might, renowned for its exceptional firepower, mobility, and advanced composite armor. The M1 Abrams has proven its mettle in various conflicts. The United States prioritizes a philosophy of technological superiority, reflected in constant upgrades and innovations. The tank's gas turbine engine, coupled with composite armor, ensures a lethal combination of speed and protection. Yet critics argue that the M1 Abrams, despite Despite its prowess, faces challenges in adapting to diverse terrains. The sheer weight of the tank, around 70 tons, raises concerns about its deployability in certain scenarios. But that's not all. In one of our previous episodes, we discussed a report from August 2023 that stated how the era of U.S. tanks might be close to over. The report categorically stated that the M1 Abrams, which has been a cornerstone of U.S. armored forces since its introduction in the 1980s, will not be effective or able to dominate the 2040 battlefield. It cites risks to the M1's advantages in mobility, firepower, and protection, stressing that the upgrades to the existing M1A2, SEP, V3, N4 models will improve effectiveness but fall short of restoring dominance. The term transparency is underscored, referring to the increasing capabilities of adversary intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR systems, making friendly actions more easily detectable. The report also emphasized the growing complexity of future battlefields, expanding across multiple dimensions, modes, and domains of warfare, with battles increasingly involving global inputs and consequences. With much about the Chinese study that reveals China has power to completely demolish a U.S. tank in one hit covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.